summer time today. It's a beautiful day. I just had to volunteer for overtime. <laughs> hey, we got truck parts to buy. Really? Right now? Fuck you. Guess what? I took the truck to work today. Um, I'm actually working overtime. Should have stayed home. It's a nice day today. Um, but someone's out, and I figured, you know, I need to make up for some uh, lost time. And plus, we have a ho holiday for Sunday, this last Sunday. So that and this overtime should make for a good paycheck. Um, I am as much as I want to avoid work as much as possible. Um, you know, they're still open and running, and um, I, I'm needing I'm needing some money, so I'm gonna work a little bit overtime here and there. I'm only gonna work. I think I'm just gonna work half a shift. Probably leave it at uh, midnight, and then uh, shoot. I don't know. I mean, it's not like I have a day off tomorrow. I gotta work tomorrow, <clears throat> the next day, and the day after. But I have four days off after that, so. Um, but I may uh, decide to work another day, so yeah, I've got a uh, lawnmower, not a lawnmower, but a uh, riding tractor uh, video coming Sunday. Um, it's kind of a long one, it's like 40 some minutes, um, but uh, I think some of you will enjoy it. I, I know not everybody's going to watch it, and that's fine, um, but uh, yeah, that's going to be popping up. And, uh, you know what? I still haven't been stimulated yet. I'm still waiting for my stimulus check. I'll probably get it tomorrow. I'm hoping to get it tomorrow. Because I know some people, some of my friends have already gotten it. And I'm just like, you know, fuck off. I should get it too. <laughs> um, yeah, so. Once we get that, I'll be a lot happier when I get that. Uh, and then, uh, you know, next paycheck. Well, I got Google check coming out. Uh, not this week, but next week, I think. And next week is also pay week, so I'll be good after this week's over with. Um, but yeah, decided to take the truck today, get it out, stretch its legs. I mostly drive it around town, uh, Vernonia, picking up stuff or whatever, or, or normal truck stuff, but I decided to drive it to work today. All that crap I got back there. I should have put a mattress back here so I can come back in here and uh and nap. Yeah, this thing's been doing pretty good. Um, it's gone. Let's see. Eh. Oh. I have gone <clears throat> 283 miles. It's actually a little bit more like uh 290. Um, this, the GPS was really weird the other day and it was almost not even registering. That says three quarter a tank, but I have my fuel sender is a little goofy how, with how I modified it. So it, uh, when that reads three quarter of a tank, it's, or actually, excuse me, quarter of a tank. Um, it's a little bit more closer to half a tank. Um, so, you know, I've really only used about mm, 14 gallons of, of fuel. So it's probably got me around uh, between 20 and 25 miles to the gallon. So that's pretty cool. But yeah, and it's doing pretty good. Um, able to go 70. You saw I was going 70 a little while ago on the highway at <clears throat> the beginning of this video. Um, it's got more. Um, but you know, I don't want to push it because there's really no need to run this engine that high in RPM. So, yeah, I'm gonna do about 70, <clears throat> and uh, it does it pretty good. It doesn't have to uh, work very hard to um, stay at that speed. It does make about nine to ten pounds of boost, but you know, you're pushing a brick through wind, but you know, it's just so much nicer. Uh, with these gears, it can put some more torque down and, you know, actually get cut through the wind. So, 
Yeah, I just need to uh, get some money and we can do the front. Um, yeah, the front on this is gonna be a lot of fun. It's probably gonna be a, a day or two project um, doing that one, so. Um, yeah, let's see what I'm thinking. I have to get a new differential carrier for the gears. Um, I don't think I'm gonna spend the money on a air locker. It's twelve, thirteen hundred dollars for an air locker. It's three hundred dollars for um, this uh, torque locker that uh, I'm interested in getting. It's uh, doesn't use dowel pins or anything. Everything's all machined, so it's it's all you know solid stuff that locks together. Um, you know, but it will you know unlock and lock when needed. So that's about three hundred fifty bucks. So I'm gonna get that. Um, chromoly axle shafts for this. I w really want to, you know, get the RCV axles, but um, those are, uh, you know, that's another $1,200, so um, not really interested in doing that. Just trying to keep the cost down, you know. Get the thing re-geared, throw a little uh, upgrade in there, here and there, and, uh, you know, just keep it simple. So we'll see how this does with that locker when I get it. But yeah, I need uh, gears. Um, <clears throat> bearing kit, carrier, axle shafts, the locker itself, and then um, there's probably some oddball stuff. Um, this axle's got new seals in it, so I'm not going to worry about putting putting seals in it. So, yeah. But, uh, so that's what I got planned for the front. Just waiting for air. some money. I want to get some money. I'll order some parts, and when we get them in, we'll start working on this truck. But yeah, I'm gonna continue this vlog a little bit later if I get something that comes up. But right now, I have to uh, run and use the bathroom. So, see you later. <laughs> Well, it's my break time and we got to wear these masks um i saw an email when i was coming into work or before i came to work that they were handing these out there they get you get two of them they're washable and whatnot and they come with these little filters it's like four filters per it's kind of ridiculous but you know you don't know if this whole thing's kind of a hoax or if it's a real thing i'm kind of 50 50 on it um, you know, it is a real thing, but at the same th time, you know, it's like, eh, kind of hard to believe, hard to, hard to know what to believe and what not to believe is where I'm at. <sighs> Cause we all know this thing was man-made to control overpopulation. And, you know, also there happens to be a, you know, a presidential election coming up, so Let's get rid of all the old people who are going to vote for Trump and, you know, hope we can get some people to vote for Biden. You're like, oh boy. Anyways, out here in the truck, I just moved it from the back 40 there to here so I can be a little bit closer to the building. Um, but yeah, I'm going to take this mask off right now. It's like wearing a freaking, you know, Tampax or something. Like, holy shit. Not that I know what that's like or anything, but... God damn. If I hear one more person complain about the steering wheel, I'm gonna freaking complain. I had somebody who's like, how, why do you have a brick no steering wheel on top? Just like all caps lock, you know? And I was like, cause it was the only not messed up steering column at the junkyard. It's what I was looking for, a straight shaft steering column 
with no tilt, none of that nonsense. Straight shaft, no goofy play in the column. I better put the lid on that. I got this. I'm just having a snack. I'm, I had kind of a decent sized dinner before coming in, so um, a little snack is all I need. Um, yeah, so all this is pretty crazy. I can't wait till it's over. I mean, remember when we can go places? That was great. Now, one thing I will uh, be on board with, and this is what I think we should do from now on, is when this does blow over, after next year's presidential election. Um, I think we should continue with the uh, whole um, social distancing stuff and, and, you know, really washing your hands all the time and just being sanitary, you know, wiping things down. I mean, you know, even without this coronavirus stuff or COVID-19, um, there's still germs and it's the same germs that usually end up getting us, uh, colds and stuff. And just think if we all acted like this, you know, all throughout our life, we'd probably be sick less. Just saying. It's just like once in a while, what I do is like, you know, my truck or my car, um, or even when I get a new vehicle, a new to me vehicle, like a, you know, something I've got from the junkyard, I usually like to clean it, especially the inside, you know, wipe it down and disinfect it, you know, who knows, some, the last person who drove the thing could have had tuberculosis, coughed all of the steering wheel, you know, it's good practice to just clean everything, even your own stuff, you know, shower, at least once a day. Maybe you can skip a day. I do that sometimes, but if I'm just at home, you know, I'm not going anywhere, I might skip a day, but otherwise I take a shower every day. Because if I don't and I go to work, it's gross. It's disgusting. I'm just hot and sweaty and nasty. Gross. I always take a shower. Do your laundry on a regular basis. Change your bed sheets. Wash your bed sheets. Vacuum your carpet. You know, this should just be normal daily stuff. Normal life. As far as everything being shut down and making you feel like you're in a socialist country. <sighs> God damn. I love this. Check them out. I used to buy gallons of it. Not gallon, gallon, like you know, a bunch of it, like hoard it, like some people hoard toilet paper, but I would wait till the dairy gold stuff, this specifically, um, would go on sale, like it'd be like two bucks or something, because it, it's getting close to being expired or something, because I'll, I'll down this in a day, a whole gallon. The reason why I don't get this a whole lot, well, you know, a whole gallon is because well, I shouldn't be having this all together because now my blood sugar is going to be high. Yeah, this place is, um, every week there's a big change, something new. Um, I'm hoping it doesn't get to a point where they're like, hey, we got to shut down. Because that's, that really is going to suck. But it sounds like if I went on unemployment, I'd probably make just as much or more. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have to take a, my horse pill. I hate this stuff. They got me on uh, Matt Foreman. Matt Foreman. And uh, it's like, okay, well, this will, you know, tr help with, you know, your dehabitaborgin, the dehabitus, 
and then it's like, okay, cool. But you're going to be Jeff daniels your way around life. Is that right? He got a case of the Jeff Daniels from uh, Dumb and Dumber when uh, Jim Carrey's character puts uh, a laxative, like the whole thing in his tea. And he's just like, uh oh. And then, ah, ha, 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 just, you know, one of those. So I take this medication and, you know, it's like, you know, an hour later, I'm like, uh-oh. I don't really know where I was going with that. I think I'm just blabbing whatever comes up in my head. Yep. Dehabitis. It sucks. And unfortunately, my um, mom's side of the family, we all, they all kind of had diabetic issues. And, uh, then conveniently on my father's side, I've got, you know, heart stuff. And it's like, great. Hope I make it past 30. <laughs> got two more years. Yeah, anyways, I think I'm going to cut this vlog off here. I'm going to edit it up and post it to YouTube. And I'm going to post it live as soon as, you know, I get, get it set up. So, Yeah. <coughs> For those of you that watch these vlogs, thanks for watching, and um, there's probably going to be more later this week if I have something I want to blab about. Um, I might even uh, make a list of comments for, um, for people that have asked questions or whatever. I don't know. I, I try and do those, but my problem with doing those is that the people who've made those comments end up not watching the video, so then they don't know if their comment got answered, so I never really do those videos. And then only 100 people watch it, so... Yeah. Um, so, with that said, it's time to go.